Hello, welcome back to Rad System Studio Tutorial. I'm Tuzik. In today's episode of Ad Page Properties, we're going to learn input field width. I'm working with a project I created by name Project 2. This project has three tables which includes customers, products and sales. Now let's get started on your left hand side. Locate database table and select any table of your choice from your project. I'm going to use the sales table on your immediate next column, locate and click on add pages. On the third column from your left, titled add page fields we can see the list of fields from the table we selected, select any field of your choice. Before we continue, let's publish our project and then preview it in the browser. I'm going to navigate to our table of interest which is sales table. I'm going to click on add new sales button. Here we are, we're going to learn how to customize the width of each input field and also how to get two or more field on the same row. That sounds awesome. Let's drive back to Rad System Studios. I'm going to use customer ID field. Locate the miscellaneous section. This section has just two properties, but for this tutorials, we're to focus on field width. Field width property allow us to change with width length of an input field by using Rad System Studio provided classes. On the input field width options field, there's a downward button next to your input space, click on it. A drop down box appears. I'm going to set the width of the customer ID field to call SM6. Once done, let's publish our project, preview in browser. When we refresh our page, we can see that the input field width of our customer ID is shrunken, but that doesn't look nice. We can also change it back to its maximum width size by typing or selecting call 12 from the options provided. Let's publish our project, preview in browser and refresh our page to see changes. As we can see, it's back to its maximum length. What if we want product, quantity and total price to have the same width, can we do that? To do that, Let's take a second to drive back to Rad System Studios, on the third column from your left, titled Add Page Fields, select Products and set the field width to Call, and then do same for the other two fields. Once done, let's publish our project, Preview in Browser When we refresh our page, we can see that the input field width for products, quantity and total price are equal size and also on the same row, but observe that the label of each fields are on the left. I guess the UI becomes better, if we set it vertically flexed. Let's do that quickly. On your second column titled Sales Pages, click on Add Page, directly beneath it is the Add Page Properties. Locate Form Layout Type Change it from horizontal and set it to vertical. Publish project, and then preview project in the browser. Now, when we refresh our page, we can see the labels are vertically flexed making the UI looks nicer. We can also set the product field width to be lengthier than the rest since this deals with names and not numbers. We can change the field width for products to call MD6 and the other two will have field width of call. Publish our project, preview in browser and when we refresh our page, we can see the width of the products field is lengthier than the other two in this row. Briefly, let's set the total price field to be on a different row. We'll select the field of interest from the add page fields and set the field width value to call 12. Publish our project, preview in browser to see the magic and when we refresh our page, we can see the width of the total price field on a new row. Furthermore, when we set a field width value to empty, the field width will automatically pick call 12 by default. We can also set the height of an input field, by changing the field property to text area. Under the miscellaneous section, we can see num rows, by default this was set to 5. Publish project, 
then preview in the browser and when we refresh our page, we can see the height of the total price field row has increased. We can also increase or decrease the height of the row depending on your choice. Now we've learned how to adjust input field width and heights. Thank you for joining us today, most importantly, if you've not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe for more tutorial videos like this and don't forget to like, comment and share. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.